Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sharif Al Gamal, and today we'll have a new video about design of singly reinforced rectangular sections. Before we go to the design steps of singly reinforced rectangular sections, let's know first about the difference between singly and doubly reinforced rectangular sections. The singly reinforced rectangular section we have only reinforcement in the tension side of the cross section. So if you have a rectangular cross section like this with an effective depth D and effective width equals to B, this section will be subjected to bending moment and this will result in a tension in one side and compression in the other side. So for singly reinforced rectangular section, you have only steer reinforcement in the tension side and no steer reinforcement in the compression side. However, for the doubly reinforced rectangular section, in addition to the steel in the tension side or tension steel, we have also steel in the compression side and we call it AS dash or compression steel. Within this video, we'll be learning how to design singly reinforced rectangular section and then in the coming video, we'll be learning about how to design doubly reinforced rectangular sections. For singly reinforced rectangular section, as usual, uh, and as we learned in previous videos, the strain distribution is always linear, and this is showing the stress block at the ultimate limit state according to the BS code, the bridge standard. So we have two forces called the first force in the compression uh, side, which is in the concrete, we call F sub CC. And we have a tension force in the steel reinforcement called FST. The FCC is we can get it from the stress multiplied by the compression area. So equals 0.45 FCU multiplied by B multiplied by the height here, which is called S. On the other hand, the force in the tension steel equals the stress in the tension steel multiplied by the area of the tension steel. Usually, the stress will be uh, equal to 0.95 F yield because the section will be under reinforced section. And we learned the difference between under reinforced section and over reinforced section in our previous video. Uh, therefore, the steel will be assumed that it will yield, and therefore the maximum stress in the steel will be used, which is 0.95 F yield. Now, if we want to get the capacity of that section, the capacity equals the compression force times Z, which is the lever arm, or also equals the tension force times Z. Let's work with the first with the compression, uh, the moment from the compression side, FCC times Z. We replace FCC with the value that we have it here. So we'll reach to this equation. And let's substitute S by two times D minus Z from this equation here, rearrange the equation and get the S. So it will be two multiplied by D minus Z. Substitute this into the equation of moment. We reach to this equation. Let's rearrange the equation. So we'll take 0.95 FCU times B, we'll put it down here. So M over 0.9 FCU times B equals D times Z minus Z square. And by arranging this equation, we can, uh, and dividing both sides of the equation by uh, D square. So we'll divide by D square. So M over 0.95 FCU B D square equal Z over D minus Z over D total square. Uh, this equation is a quadratic equation in Z. And to make it easier, we will take the value of M over FCU B D square and we get it, give it a letter K. So let's substitute this part by the letter K and we will arrange the equation. So K over 0.9 equals Z over D minus Z over D square. This is a quadratic equation in Z. It can be solved and from the solution we'll be able to get the value of the Z. And Z, just not to forget, is the lever arm between the compression and the tension force in the cross section. This Z, we can get it from this equation by solving 
this quadratic equation z equals d multiplied by 0.5 plus square root of 0.25 minus k over 0.9 and don't forget that the k value equals m over fcu b d square and finally to be able to get the uh, capacity of the section we can get it from uh, this part again m equals fst times z from this equation, we'll be able to get the area of the steel. How we can we do that? We are going to replace the FST by the value 0.95 FEL times AST multiplied by Z and rearrange the equation. You can calculate the AST from this equation equals to M, the moment, ultimate moment on the section, divided by 0.95 FEL times Z. So the three steps that we can use to design uh, reinforced concrete rectangular section or singly reinforced concrete rectangular section. We calculate the K, then we calculate Z, and then we calculate the area steel. Now to decide if the section will be a singly or doubly reinforced rectangular section, do we need compression steel or we don't need compression steel? We can do that by getting something called the maximum moment of capacity of a singly reinforced rectangular section. The BS code is limiting the neutral axis uh, X equals to 0.5D. To ensure a tension failure, the code is saying that the value of X shouldn't exceed 0.5D. So let's substitute the X by 0.5D. So as we know, Z equals D minus S over two. Let's substitute the S by 0.9X, and now we replace the X with 0.5D. So the Z in this case, it will be 0.775D. Okay, so hence the maximum moment of resistance of the section will be 0.45 FCU times B times S times Z. Now the S will be replaced by 0.45D, which is 0.9X, and X is 0.5D. So it will be 0.45D. And uh, also we replace the Z by 0.775D into this equation. Therefore, we can get the M maximum equals 0.156 FCU BD square. The value of 0.156 will give it the letter K dash. So therefore, the K dash equals M maximum divided by FCU BD square, and it will equal to point. 156. What is this K dash? This K dash is a factor. By using this, uh, checking the K in the equation, we will be able to uh, know if the section will be singly or doubly reinforced section. So the limiting value of K for a singly reinforced rectangular section is this K dash, and it equals 0.156. Therefore, if you calculated the K, which is equal to the moment divided by FCU BD square, and you found that the K is greater than K dash, which is 0.156, this means that compression reinforcement will be required to prevent cr concrete crushing. So we calculate K equals M over FCU BD square, and we compare it with the 0.156 or the K dash. If the K is greater than 0.156, it means compression reinforcement will be required. If it is less than 0.156, no compression steel will be required, and then we design it as a singly reinforced rectangular section. Now, let's go to a clear steps of the design of singly reinforced rectangular section. What is given to you? It will be dimensions of the cross section, or even if you don't have dimensions, you can assume dimension based on some uh, information from uh, the code. Uh, FCU, F yield, and also M ultimate, the ultimate moment, or in some cases, you may have a problem with a, a beam with a load. So from the load, we can use some structural analysis equations to design or to calculate for the moment, M ultimate. So at the end, we have M ultimate, we have FCU, we have F yield dimensions will be given or you can assume it and then the required it will be the area steel the area steel is unknown and we need to calculate it is very easy 
uh, steps. So let's see the steps one by one. The first step is to calculate the K. K equals M ultimate divided by FCU BD square. And all units here should be in Newton and millimeter. So if the moment is given by kilonewton meter, it should be multiplied by 10 to power six to change it to Newton millimeter. Once we calculated the K, we will check if the K is less than or equals to 0.156, which is the K dash limit. So if it is less than that one, it means singly reinforced section, no compression steel, and we can go to step number two directly. And in the other uh, case, if the K is greater than 0.156, it means it will be a double reinforced rectangular section and we need compression steel. This will be discussing this later in a coming video. Let's assume that the K is less than 0.156. So the second step is to calculate the Z equals D times 0.5 plus square root 0.25 minus K over 0.9. And keep in mind that the BS code is requiring that the Z should be less than or equal to 0.95D. So this part here, it should be less than or equal to 0.95. So if the uh, Z is greater than 0.95D, no problem at all. We just take it as the maximum value of 0.95D. If it is less, just take it as is. If it is greater than 0.95D, we'll take it as 0.95D. So from this equation, we calculated the Z. The last step is to calculate the area steel required equals M over 0.95 F yield times Z. So the steps calculating K compare it to 0.156. If it is less, it means it is singly reinforced section. Go to step number two, calculate Z. Ensure that the Z will, be, will not be greater than 0.95D. If it is greater, just take it as 0.95D. And then we can calculate the area steel required in millimeter square. As a last step, we can choose the number and diameter of bars and calculate the AS provided. Okay. So to uh, understand this well, let's take an example and solve it together. And here, uh, it is required to design a singular reinforced rectangular section. The ultimate design moment to be resisted for that section is given as 185 kilonewton meter. So this is the M ultimate is 185 kilonewton meter. What is required? It is required to determine the area of tension steel. And also uh, F yield is given as 460 newton per millimeter square. FCU is given as 30 newton per millimeter square. Dimensions of the cross section is given. So it is clear that it is a rectangular cross section with a B equal 260 and effective depth of 440. So it is a straightforward problem of a design of a singular reinforced rectangular section. Let's start by the first step, calculating K equals M ultimate divided by FCU BD square. So the M ultimate is 185. Just to change it from kilonewton meter to newton millimeter, multiply by 10 to power six, divided by B, divided by D square, 440 square, and FCU is given at 30. So we found that this, the value is 0.122, less than the K dash, which is 0.156. It is less than 0.156, therefore compression steel is not required. It means it is a singly reinforced rectangular section. So we can go to step number two, calculating Z. Z, we just substitute the value of K that we got it from the first step, 0.122 here. And we got the Z as 369. It is less than 0.95D. It means, okay, we take it as is then we can go to calculating the area of the steel required. M over 0.95 F field times Z, substitute the value of Z here. M as we did in the first step, F field as 460 as given. So we will get a, a reinforcement uh, area of 100 or 1,147 millimeter square. From that one, we can choose a suitable diameter and number of bars. So here I choose uh, four bars of a diameter 20, 40, 20. And if you don't know what is T, T it refers to deformed steel bars of uh, F yield 460. So four T 20, 
and the AS provided of the 4020 is 1260 millimeters square greater than the AS required. Then if you want to sketch this reinforcement, it will be four bars in the tension side and the value it will be 4T20. This will be the end of our video today. Thank you for watching. If you uh, like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell and share with your colleagues. See you in a coming video and thank you for watching.